This car is known as Goldie, and to the people that are in the Healy world, they know exactly what it is. This was the 1958 Earl's Court show car. Earl's Court in Europe is kind of like our Detroit or New York auto show. It is the most significant auto show every year in Europe. How did you find it? I've bought and sold Austin Healy's for almost 30 years. I've owned almost 400 big Healy's. I chased this car for almost 25 years. I've every six months tried to buy it. People finally retired. It was, uh, they were known as the Healy Surgeons. Uh, Bruce and Enon Phillips, very famous Healy people up in the Northeast had it. Said they would never ever sell it, but if they ever did, they'd sell it to me and I finally got it. Now when you got the car, did you have to do anything to it? This car was restored and shown in the early 80s, 81 to 85 era. When we got it, we took the car, blew it completely apart, even though it was a show car, and redid everything. As far as freshening everything, every nut and bolt cleaned. It was mainly a, uh, a massive detail, if you will. Because we, to get it back to show standards, even though the car hadn't been, it had only been used as a show car, to get it back to a concourse level, we spent several hundred hours on it. And we did one in the Concourse of Texas last year. Was and that your first showing of the car? First last and only year? showing okay. since I've owned it. I've had it for about 10 years. Um, I don't have time to show my cars, but, uh, but that's why I'm here today. We're showing two of them so, today. Yeah. Uh, let's see the motor in this car. Now this is a, this is 106. So this is before they, they called them the 3000. This is where they went from the 104 to the six cylinder motor. So this is your first big Healy series right, with a right. six in it. Um, and this is how it left the factory. Most of them had painted valve covers since this was a show car. They polished the dash pods, chrome plated this. There's just a lot of small things on, the, on this show car that you won't see in other cars. So as a show car, when this first came out, did it travel, where else did it travel for the manufacturer? Well, here was the other big draw on this car. It was one of the first times they'd ever done this at the Earl's Court. This car was given away. So okay. not only did that draw the, a record number of people to the show that year, the company that sponsored this, which was the local London newspaper, it was one of their highest rate of returns on newspaper sales. Oh. <laughs> so this car was actually given away back then in 1958 um, and then sold to a movie star in Switzerland. And it stayed in Switzerland up until the early 80s when it came back to the US and was restored. And I have all this history documented. Do you have the actual newspaper? Yes. Oh, that's great. Do you have it here with you? I didn't bring it with me, oh, but okay. I, I do have the actual newspaper. I've got the actual original registration, uh, the original gold key. I've got everything. Oh, that's great. Man, I appreciate well, your time. You yes, sir. Well, you bet. Thank you very much. For Love the show, and thanks for having me on it.